the Joe Rogan experience. Now, the crazy thing is that this probably could be fixed with legalizing all drugs, but nobody wants to legalize all drugs. It's such a catch-22 because, like, if you had heroin available at the corner store, um, you would have no need to buy fentanyl. And if it was, like, at a reasonable price where they couldn't undercut you, like, hey, heroin's five bucks, I'll send you fentanyl for a dollar. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a terrible thing to even say. I don't want people to be able to just go buy meth. Yeah, well, the way to think about it, I think, is like um, decriminalization a lot of times is like a better alternative, in my opinion, in my, you know, my research, Mm -hmm. than legalization, right? So like the presidential candidate, Andrew Yang, talks about decriminalizing opioids. Right. And so when I first heard about that, I was like, what? I was like, that is a bridge too far. But the more you think about it, it's like people get arrested for using fentanyl, they go to jail, and then the recidivism rate is like through the roof. People like get out and they start using again. They don't get the treatment they need, you know. And so the opioid, you know, like people don't realize that fentanyl is killing more people than any drug in American history ever on an annual basis. More than heroin, more than pills, more than meth, more than crack. And so things just get worse and worse every year. People aren't talking about it that much. But how is decriminalization going to stop that? Because decriminalization will just make fentanyl more available. Uh, the, the point of legalizing all drugs, and I, again, this is a very, very messy subject, and I'm not a proponent of legalizing all drugs. I'm, I'm sort of agnostic on it. I'm like, hmm, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is it. What, what is the answer? But – if you legalize them and you can buy them from reputable sources, you would know that you're actually buying cocaine. You're not uh-huh. You're not buying some fake Chinese spice jam yeah. thing, whatever the fuck they call it. You're buying actual cocaine and you – look, we know if you buy whiskey, right? You get a, a thing on the label that tells you what proof it is. You know that if you have yeah. you know, three drinks, you're going to be fucked up. And we can regulate that. We could sort of adjust. Like I, I had two already. I'm good. You know, but if you don't know what's in it, you don't know what the dose is. So you don't know what you're okay with and what you're not okay with. One one of the good things about alcohol, like you get a beer, that's a beer. You yeah. know what that is. Yeah. You know, you know how much alcohol is in there. Yeah. Well, in some countries in Europe, they actually give um, free heroin and to addicted users. Yeah. yeah. And so that, you know, it's often not the heroin that kills people at all. Mm-hmm. It's the dirty needles. It's um, the criminal lifestyle used to, like, pay for the money to buy, prostitution, things like that. And so um, I went and visited these places uh, called supervised injection facilities. Have you heard about these? Yes. Yeah. Where were these? Where do they have them in this well, country? Well, they, they don't have any in this country. It's Wouldn't they totally, try to they're do They're trying to do like one that? in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah, and there was a court case in its favor recently. The former governor, Ed Rendell, is, like, spearheading that. But I went to one in Barcelona and so these are places where drug use is totally legal inside the facility. They have clean needles. They have doctors and nurses supervise it. And, um, and they even like – so they have like um, the this, this smoking room where you can go and do, do anything you want. They have crack pipes like that the government provides. They're like government-funded and created crack pipes that they'll hand out to people. Um, and they've never had an overdose death in one of these places. They, they have, they're connected to uh, treatment centers. They give out methadone, suboxone, all these treatment drugs. It brings people into the system so that they're accounted for. And these have been, like, super successful. But in the U.S., there's, like, federal crackdowns on them. Yeah. I, again, it's... I think there's an issue politically, right? Because nobody wants to be the one that says, hey, we're going to open up a place where people can come and shoot up. Yeah. And people are like, well, fuck this guy. My my son's hooked on heroin. And this piece of shit wants to help him. You yeah. know, we, what we need is detox centers. What we need is treatment. We don't need a place where you can go and shoot heroin. You know, but like many things in life, this whole heroin thing, fentanyl thing, all these different – it's very messy. Yeah, well, so even if you're not going to go that far, there are simple steps we can take to help stop the opioid crisis. And one thing I'm a big advocate for is called fentanyl testing strips. And so that's the weird thing about fentanyl is it's not a 
demand driven drug. Like every other drug, it's out there because people want it. Like people mm. want cocaine. People want heroin. People don't want fentanyl. They're sneaking it into other things. Exactly. Right. And so studies have shown that if users know fentanyl is in their cocaine or their meth or their heroin or their pills, they will be much less likely to use it and overdose from it. And so fentanyl testing strips, they're, they look kind of like pregnancy tests. They're really cheap, just these paper strips. You mix up your solution of whatever you think you have, heroin, and you dip the strip in there. And if there's two stripes, that means that you have fentanyl. And if there's one, it means you don't, or else the other way around. Mm. And so it's, it's simple. It's immediate. But, but again, U.S. laws are so insane that these are actually banned in certain states, like Pennsylvania. <sighs> so... That could be done to help people understand that there's fentanyl in the drugs that they're looking for. They're looking for cocaine. They're looking for heroin. Turns out there's fentanyl in there. 